Hi everyone and a huge welcome to Ho Chi Minh City. Tonight we are off to a food street not far from District 1, um, maybe two or three kilometres. And it's uh, meant to be a fantastic place if you want to get an example of great Vietnamese street food. So Michelle and I are heading off tonight. We'll take you along for the ride. It's crazy out here, take a look. To be honest, Michelle, there's, <laughs> there's food everywhere in this city. Don't blame me when we get there if there's loads of tourists in this place as well. We will see. Hello, man. Okay, so we're taking a grab over there because it's nice to arrive, not too hot. We're in uh, District 1. The walking street is just just back here, about 100 yards, and the, the food street we're going to is not much further. It's about a couple of kilometers. Complete madness on the streets, isn't it? Being, even being in the vehicle makes it realize how the drivers have to put up with. It's, re it's remarkable there's not more accidents. It almost seems laughable that we're going to a food street and I don't think we've not been next to people selling food the whole journey. And we just got to get over this next roundabout. <laughs> roundabout. I'm saying is this a roundabout? Just getting there is an adventure, isn't it Michelle? All right, we've got to get out. That's a crazy adventure. Just going anywhere in Ho Chi Minh City is, is absolute madness. Okay, so this is the beginning of the street. I think at this early side, there is a flower market and the food street is maybe a, a few hundred yards up, but we've got the car to drop us just at the beginning of the street here. This place opens at five o'clock. It's about 6.30 now. So we're hopefully an hour and a half in, it'll start to kick off. And generally in Vietnam, people are going to go out to eat after the sort of sun's gone down, the cooler weather has kicked in. These lovely flower arrangements. Lovely bouquets here. I'm not sure if these would be for weddings. These would definitely be for, for funerals here. The white flowers, I'm pretty sure, would be for funerals. We are most definitely at the, at the flower end of the market and not the food end of the market. Down these alleyways, all, all flowers, millions and millions of flowers. It's quite amazing. Now, in a way, we've made a mistake coming to the wrong end of the town, but I think this is really something you shouldn't miss. I think coming down through the flower market and hopefully to a food market at the end, probably find we're in the complete wrong end of town altogether. <laughs> Hello. Looks a bit dark down there. <laughs> it, it does look a bit dark, doesn't it? Have we missed it? No, we haven't missed it. I think we've just come to the wrong spot. My fault. Google Maps has let me down. Spot. We're going to get to it in a minute. <laughs> I have faith, Michelle. I'm pretty sure that our food street extravaganza is a little further up here. So shucked oysters here. 30k for shucked oysters. No, we're, we're, we're here now, Michelle. Ladies doing takoyaki here, look. Hello. Hello. So takoyaki has a little bit of octopus inside. So she's got egg and batter and then she puts a little bit of octopus. I wouldn't mind trying that, but it's, it's not Vietnamese, but it's certainly a food that I love. Look at the lobster here. I mean, look at that. Look at the size of these things. I love a, a good lobster, but man, look at these. Look at these things. We came up the wrong street. It was this street next door. I think it's you. Hello, how are you? Is this rice? Rice, yeah. Rice in here, yeah? What do you call this in Vietnamese? What's the name? Gom lam. Gom lam. Ah, gom lam. Gom lam. Ah, and this is, um, this is pork or chicken? Pork. Pork. Yeah. Pork. How much is? Uh, uh, 20 for one. 20 for one and a gom lam? 20 for one. 20 old or 20 for one, yeah? No, 30. 30 ah, for one. this this one 30. What is this one? Pork. 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 That looks nice. 
I've already got an indication from one of the guys here that you can pretty much sit where you want, order a drink, bring your food to any table in the market. So you don't have to, you know, worry about sitting at one table and eating from another. Okay, now let's take a look down this street. Have a little look what they have. I like the look of the girls' tak takoyaki. Here they've got a lot of seafood. The phoenix claw, chicken feet. Hello. Oh, here the, look at these. They look good, don't they? Dim sum. Oh, wow, look at these snails. Look at the size of this snail. We've got a bit of congestion going on here, a little bit of road. Nobody's getting angry, everyone's happy. Look at the spicy sausage. I think we're going to have to kind of <laughs> log some things, then find some seats and then sit down and just sort of enjoy bit by bit. Ah, what is this one? Korean sauce, chicken, chicken wings, chicken breast. And how much is this? Fried quail with butter. Yeah, quail. Ah, these are little fried quails in butter. So he's now putting a little of the cheese powder on. Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm on. Okay, I got a, a spiral potato. Hello. Hello, man. No, no, thank you. I have. Looks good, huh? You want some? No. No? I've ordered that little bird, the little quail bird that she had there. And I'm not sure if you're meant, you're meant to get two or one, but it seems like I'm getting one for 25,000, but that'll be fine. Okay, so we got spiral potatoes. I don't know if the video will show that, but as I pulled it out, I'm pushing it back in. I stabbed myself in the gum. So injuries already, man down, man down, medic. So yeah, this is just a basically a potato that's cut into a spiral. It's but a cheese sauce that's really delicious. I'm gonna have a little bit more of this and I'm gonna give the rest to Michelle because there's so many other things I've got to eat tonight. The lady's just brought out this tiny little quail. Look, it's got some um, herbs on there. They were trying to sell me on having two of these quails. Two of these little birds. Would you? Mm. Wow, that's delicious. This, the herbs they've given this is like almost a Thai basil. Perfectly accompanies this tiny little quail. Oh wow, succulent, crispy, delicious. Okay, bit tricky. I think really you've just got to get it in there and chew on it. It's quite a tough bird. Quite tough. But if you like chicken, it's absolutely delicious. Now, here is the little quail's head and the bit of breast meat here as well on the top. Now, I'm told that the head is a delicacy. Let's have a little try. It doesn't seem like a lot of meat on the head, to be honest, or around the beak. I've got to be honest, there's not a lot of meat around that head, but I do think what they tend to do is just bite it off and chew on it, but I'm not going that far. <laughs> Such a shame there's only one head. Michelle, I can save you. You can have a little suck on the head afterwards. No, 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 just for you. That's a really fiddly little piece of meat. Look at the wing. A tiny, tiny little wing here. That's barely got any meat on at all. 25,000, I'm not going to waste it. This is good meat. I suspect locally you just put the whole thing in your mouth and chew it around until you get most of the meat off. Does that appeal to you, Michelle? 
I do too, not the head, but the, everything else. Yeah. There's a lovely piece, I'll save you there. Thank you. That's a piece of uh, another another thigh with a bit of breast on there. Yeah. Whatever meat I can salvage from this tiny little bird. And there's not a lot. And it's greasy. My hands. Is that the butter? Could be the butter, but I think it was just fat. Certainly the, the quality is a lot better than the quantity. I don't want to waste any of this. The poor little bird died for a reason. I want to eat as much as I can. Okay, off you go. Let me let me finish. And Michelle wants a little bit of this quail as well. I'm sure a lot of you out there would love to join me. I love this lady's bling. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Go on. Thank you. So we've done bird or quail. So we've got to get ourselves coconut ice cream. Hello. Come on, thank you. Okay, Michelle's gonna, this is her treat. She loves the coconut ice cream. And I have to say, it's one of the nicest looking um, coconut ice cream. Also, which they don't do in very many places. They give you some coconut water. Oh, refreshing coconut water. So it's very precise. You get an exact certain weight of ice cream. It's a nice photo. Over here is one of my favorite. Uh, this is um, Goikion. Goikion. How do you say? Go Goikun. 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 I can never pronounce it correctly, but these summer rolls are one of my favorite things in Vietnam. Um, and I just, I just want to have one. Thank you. This is beautiful. Thank you. How do you say again? Gai Ku. Yes. These are so good. A very delicate, thin um, pancake pan. Inside you've got all the herbs and flavouring. It's very sticky. It's almost, you know those little toys you get that you can throw to the window and they stick? If you threw that at a glass window, it would just, it would literally just stick to the glass window. And they, they serve it with what I can only describe as like almost a, an oyster, maybe a mushroom sauce. Next to the banh mi, this is probably one of my most favorite Vietnamese food or, or one of the must-have Vietnamese foods you should have if you're in uh, Ho Chi Minh City or Hanoi. Oh. There's almost an aniseed taste, like the Thai basil, an aniseed taste, those beautiful herbs. These are really good. 10,000 um, Vietnamese dong. And it's probably close to about 50 cents. So the, the old mama who was making them, she was a little bit unsure about me filming, but the young girl, she was really happy that I was filming. It's a difference between the generation. Very good. If I wasn't so full from the big quail that I ate just now, I'd have a plate full of these. Last bit. Mm. It's hard to explain the herbs that are in this, the flavours. There's chives, onion chives, and at least three or four uh, different green herbs. That is so good. Can I get uh, two? <laughs> Said I'd come back and try these. This is like a I think it's a pork, so it's a hamburger basically. It's a pork um, satay with cheese on. Oh man. Oh, that sauce is spicy. That's delicious. Very good, thank you. I've dropped my cheese. Mm. It's really succulent. Moist, not dry at all. I've asked the lady to make a fresh one. She was going to heat one of these ones up on the front, but if you ask, she will. So that's um, onion, onion, dried onion. Chicken egg. Look at this. This is chicken egg. So just a bottle full of egg. And then the lady's popping it on here. La the laughing cow cheese. And a little bit of sausage. Beautiful. 
This is a Vietnam pizza, yeah? A little bit of chili sauce on there. So now she's going to pop it on back on the charcoal, fold it over if she can, and just, just make that crisp that up for us nicely. So she's just giving it really hot, super hot. I've come back for my own coconut ice cream. I didn't get enough of Michelle, so. That's really nice, a bit shrimpy. Mm. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> Since we arrived, it's got really busy, hasn't it? It's absolutely, and it's so hot. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a lot more. <laughs> Might have to bail on this one. But I, I've got to recommend this guy. Fresh coconut, which is cutting open beside me. Beautiful young coconut flesh inside. A little toasted, toasted coconut. And something I haven't seen before, a little cherry with a pip. A tiny little pip. Man, this guy makes the best coconut ice cream. I've had this all over the world, but this is one of the best coconut ice creams I've had. If you just come to this market for this guy's ice cream. So it's got that beautiful young coconut flesh. There's no way I'm not letting Michelle in there. She's looking at it. She's saying, I shared mine. Last one. If I could, I'd take this home and, and have two of these tonight. That's how much of this is so good. So we're going to have some puri. Some beautiful puri from this guy. A plate of five puri is 35,000. He's definitely making them. Beautifully made. So a little bit of potato inside. Some uh, onions. Some tomatoes. Little salsa tomatoes. A little bit of the sweet sauce. And some um, yogurt as well. So a bit like a dehi puri. Wow, good job, man. Thank you. We, we should be in India really That's having right. puris like this. This is a little like an amuse bouche. You have to put the whole thing in your mouth, otherwise, it's going to go down everywhere. Mm. Little girl behind laughing at me. Wait before he eats them all. Got to pay for these, don't forget. Mm. Very good. It's not as spicy as India, and it's a little bit sweet, mm. but it's good. <laughs> That's me full. <laughs> I am full. Do you know, right at the beginning of this, I really wanted a, um, a lobster. I knew you wouldn't fit a lobster in, not no. with all the bits you wanted to try. And now I can't even think about eating a lobster. Oh, this guy had the avocado ice As full as I am, and I am full, there's always the room for a bit more ice cream. So we're going for an avocado and um, coconut ice cream. Some peanuts. Yeah. Some little dried coconut flakes. Yeah. Thank you, come on. Why are they giving me two spoons again? You know you've got to share with me. So, not in the coconut this time, but still looks delicious, doesn't it? Huh? Mm. Man, that is equally as delicious. Let me see if I can get down and get some of that avocado. I'll get some ice cream, some... Uh, Avocado, it's like an avocado cream or, or a foam maybe. I'm not sure if it's an avocado foam or a cream. Wow, it's a cream but it's delicious, like an avocado smoothie almost, but sweet. Mm. Michelle, you'll, you'll love this. Really good. Mm. 
You are going to get some. Sure? It's like an avocado smoothie or? Mm. Very nice, yeah, very huh? Good. Delicious. Yeah. What can I say? I've got a, I've got a sweet tooth. Okay, we're getting back up to the top end of town now. I'm done. If you want to come down here and give this a try, you really should. If you're staying in District 1, which is where a lot of backpackers stay, it's barely a kilometer or two, maybe just over a mile walking, but you can jump in a grab for probably about 30,000 and be here in an almost an instant. From Michelle and I, Food Street, Ho Chi Minh City, Love to all. We will see you next time. Get yourselves down here and enjoy street food of Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City. Take care. Bye. I think we'll end this video where we started. Little side alley here. And back down to Flower Street. This little dog here, just laying, sleeping in the middle of the road. As happy as Larry. All the bikes are making their way around him. Honestly, have you ever seen a dog more content on a concrete road in the middle of a busy street? He's looking at me now as if to say, do you mind, I'm trying to get some sleep here. She's asleep. <laughs> You know, I love that food street, but this flower street is so exciting. There's so much going on, isn't it? It is. It's an absolute joy down here. We're pretty hungry today, aren't we, Michelle? Yeah. Are you? Are you? <laughs> Michelle's starving. Bless her, she's, she's had nothing to eat all day. Go on, you go first. You go first. I wanted to take you for coffee. I said no food first. Food first. <laughs> 